Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from the Body Fit Solution. Welcome. Today at Short and Sweet, we're going to have an exercise tip and a nutritional tip that will keep you healthy and strong so that you have an active lifestyle. Now today's exercise is lovingly called the teapot. The teapot focuses on the hip as the fulcrum because a whole lot of our movements depend on that joint to be working well. Also, that joint is what keeps our backs from being achy. Okay, so let's get started. Now you can hang on for this exercise if you'd like. I'm going to at first, but I'm going to try to step away, which is what you're going to try to do. You're going to try to get at least four on each leg without falling over and without holding on. All right? So good. We're going to, I'm going to stand sideways so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. I'm going to lift the leg up about hip height. Okay, I have 90 degree on my knee, and my abs are engaged. I'm pulling up from my pelvic floor, staying nice and tall. I'm pushing down my big toe on that floor there to keep me nice and steady. And I want to keep my leg right where it is. I'm just rotating on that hip folk, on that uh, hip joint. Okay? Now, I'm going to draw a line down the wall with my eyes. I'm going to draw that line down and just tip over like that teapot. And then I'm going to draw that line back up the wall. Okay? So we're going to try to do four. Here's one. Whoa. Just hang on and draw the line back up. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult sometimes. Here's two. Good. Three. Draw the line. Draw it back up. And one more is, whoa, whoa. One more. Come on, one more. Here we go. One more is four. Whoa, let's try it. One more is four. So go down and come back up. Yeah, not too bad, huh? <laughs> all right, so today our uh, nutritional tip is all about inflammation. So the question is, does inflammation cause a weight gain? And the answer is, yes, it does. But inflammation is directly linked to lifestyle and the food we eat. But no fear, there are things we can do about it. First, let's look at some things that cause inflammation. Chronic stress, we know that well, don't we? Food additives, nutritional deficiencies, and believe it or not, being overweight causes more inflammation. All right, so then let's look at some foods that cause inflammation. How about sugar, vegetable oils, fried foods, refined carbs, additives, sweeteners, artificial sweeteners. Oh, well, the net net of it is you want to eat whole food and quit spraying that bug spray on the lawn. All right then. Now, you know why I do this. I do this so that you're healthy and strong and then you can enjoy the activities you want to do in a body that does them well when you're celebrating Act 2. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.